You can visit hsn.com to start ordering or keep ordering. And if you want to get it now, because I don't have to worry about selling out later. So it's kind of a good idea. All right, what's going to happen in this hour? Let me explain what this whole hour is about. First, we're going to save you money. Number two, we're going to show you how you can cook your food basically anywhere you go. And number three, well, that's kind of a bit of a surprise. But here's the one I want to feature first. It is Hot Logic. I am so excited about this thing. It's the first time I'm going to be able to talk about it. I've never had it on the air before, but it's been on the year. Uh, what happened when it was on though, it was a quick little peek because it sold out in just a couple of airings back in February, actually the first of February. It's basically a lunchbox that can keep your food warm or even cook your food. How nuts is that? Anywhere you go, you just have to plug it in. We've got airline attendants using it. We have truck drivers using it. We have busy moms. We have people who use it at their offices, at their desk. So if you want to literally cook your food or just keep it warm, I mean really warm, this is the item for you. And there's some really cute co colors too. So think of a lunchbox that's portable and small, but actually cooks your food for you. So that's going to be coming up a little bit later on. Also, my last one is, ooh, you ever want to make homemade pasta? You ever try? And it's like a hot mess and you can't do it, you're actually going to make your own homemade pasta later on in the show. So it's going to be a fun hour. We start with this. And I said, how are you going to save money? In fact, how can you save a lot of money? Well, by not throwing out so much food. And who do we turn to to be able to save all that money? It's Debbie Meyer and her Debbie Meyer green boxes. This is one of the largest configurations we've ever offered for her ultralights, which are my personal favorites. They're lightweight and yet they're very durable. No more zippy bags, no more foil. You don't need any more plastic. You just have to change your food and change the container into these and you're going to be able to extend the life of your food. And now you're like, yeah, right, let's prove it. Well, that's why I have Debbie here. She is the creator of it. Hello, Miss Debbie. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, thank you. Because I do think, I think people hear the beginning. And they're like, well, of course I want to save a ton of money. Who doesn't? On food. Yes. I would like to stop throwing it out so often. Yes. And you have the creation to be able to do that. Yes, I do. It's brilliant. And we thank you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> with hundreds of millions of my green boxes in use right now. That's right. Okay, we know they work because all these people are finding out that my boxes actually extend the life of fruits, vegetables, baked goods, and snacks. Look at them. We're going to start with strawberries because everybody loves strawberries and you know how many strawberries are going to be eaten this summer. Uh -oh. Well, now a whole lot more are going to be eaten because they're not going to be turned into that. Nine days ago, I purchased strawberries. Those did not have the benefit of living in one of my ultralight green boxes. These did. For the same period of time, this is the difference. Mm. Nine days, nine days. They're all the same age. These are nine days fresh. That's nine day garbage. Mm. All right, now you see the sign up front. Those signs, all you'll see all the date signs all over the table. Those are the date signs that come from the independent laboratory testing that tested the efficacy of my boxes. And they said, you can expect nine days out of strawberries, fresh strawberries. Well, how do they work? Okay, how do they work? It through my own proprietary formula of natural ingredients, natural elements that are part of the construction of this box. That you cannot wash it out, you cannot wear it out. As long as you own it, as long as that box exists in the world, it works. Is that crazy? Doesn't matter who. You guys, it's not a coating. No. It's not something that's temporary. No. It is, as long as you're using the green boxes, it's exactly. going to do a jo its job for you. They are BPA free, top rack dishwasher safe, proudly made right here in America. And you don't have to use it for the same thing every single time. Next time could be broccoli. It doesn't have to be strawberries. But you, what you do is exactly what you ordinarily do. My strawberries go in the refrigerator. Other things sit on my counter. Mm -hmm. You do exactly what you ordinarily do, except you remove original packaging. So I'm going to ask you to do. So there's some nice strawberries. Let's come on back here because my boxes also have an additional natural freshness ingredient that allows you to keep your baked goods and snacks fresh longer. Right. So the independent testing said, that's pretty much what you can expect from bread at about 11 days. Uh, yeah. A lot of mold. Uh, can you hear over there? Okay. <laughs> so instead, what we want to find is at 11 days, these gorgeous yeasty, oh, they smell good. Oh, it just smells like you mm, just I bought them. I love baked goods. I mean, really. Like who doesn't, so, right? <laughs> yeah. So those yeasty English muffins, those beautiful squishy bagels, like they should be chewy and yeah. soft like that, right? And I'm not just talking about those few things. It's any bread, any rolls. You buy artisan breads at the bakery, oh they go up like that. Amazing how fast they go Straight in really quickly, and then as soon as you bring them home, you put them in my green boxes and they last longer. Here's two of those 864 ounce boxes you get in this set. These hold, this will hold an entire loaf of bread. And in my right. bread, I call it my bread drawer. I have a drawer where I keep these two so that they stay fresh in my drawer. And at 11 days, we want to save money for sandwiches. Mm. 
If you throw away half a loaf of bread, okay, excuse me, you didn't save any well, money. Well, you're saving yeah. money for lunches. Absolutely. Let's say, oh, we go out to lunch, honey, we really got to start saving some money. Yeah, if you're throwing out the bread, you might as well go out to dinner. Exactly. You might as well go out to lunch. Yeah, I know, a couple of loaves of bread. Right, you're wasting lunch. your money. Right. Exactly. exactly. So I, oh, yeah, I just right. opened the box. That's what you want your family to find. Let's come on back on down here. Mushrooms. I buy my mushrooms pre-sliced because I find it very convenient. Look at the color of that mushroom at nine days instead of that. Mm -hmm. Nine days. Mm -hmm. And this, these were disgusting long before nine days. But we keep doing it at nine days because that's the length of time that the independent testing was done through. Remember, it's, this is the science of keeping your food fresh longer. Wait, and guys, stay with us because we're going to get to 21 days here in a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, oh like, yeah. you're like, what could possibly last that long, right? You'll see. Well, how about tomatoes <laughs> at 14 days? Right. Those are, that's 14 days, and when I cut open a 14-day tomato, look at how gorgeous that tomato is. Mm -hmm. 14 days. If you have a garden, you're gonna go to uh, farmer's markets, you wanna have, you wanna be able to keep whatever it is you bought or grew longer, so that you don't have to eat every, I mean, if you get a bumper crop of tomatoes, what are you gonna do with them? Right. <laughs> you know, well, you I have friends found, who grow them and they pass them out. They're yeah, so desperate, to, yes. so they don't go bad, they keep giving them to everybody. And then you, but you should pass them out in these. With, and they last even with longer. With my green they'll last even longer. 21 days, okay? Suzanne wanted to talk about 21 days. Earlier mm. today, I stuck my thumb right through this, so I'm not gonna <laughs> touch that again. I promised everybody I wouldn't touch that thing. That was a head of lettuce 21 days ago. Wow. That's three weeks. This is three weeks in my green box. And I want you to hear it. Hear that? Yeah. How it's hard like is, that, on yeah, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I usually get lettuce down my blouse. <laughs> I <got it. laughs> or I get the lettuce juice all over my neck. I'm glistening. But it's fresh. It's so fresh. It's so fresh. It jumped on her. <laughs> so I'm glistening. This is not going to jump on her. No, that yeah. actually sprung from That'll the lettuce. That'll run away. <laughs> <laughs> It'll crawl off. <laughs> oh, this is just glorious. Yeah, it's, great. it's just. Yeah. And when you don't, so you, when you don't use the whole thing, you simply put what's left back into the box, and, and you put the lid on, and it continues to work. It's 21 days. I mean, I think days. a little, as you can see it. I mean, I know you. I know you're at home, <laughs> and I know you're going. That is impossible. And maybe you just cleaned out your fridge this morning. You thought, uh, yeah. we, honey, we got to go. Yeah, you're throwing away. Oh, and What'd you're you just do? standing there, and you're throwing out the old salad yeah. that's all watery and all that stuff. Stop doing it. It's so simple. You get these. You take whatever it's in and stick it in here, and then you're going to save money. And we yeah. literally. I, I would love to know, we don't have the figure, but I can imagine how oh. many hundreds of thousands, if not millions and millions of dollars have been saved oh. simply because people said, hey, I'm just gonna use this, this as a container as opposed to all the mismatched stuff I already have. By the way, just wanna show you really quickly, the configuration is huge. It it's is. eight of the it eight is. cup, eight of the four cup, 12 of the three cup, and 12 of the two cup. Mm -hmm. You get everything you see there. Now on the left-hand side, and I'll run over there and get that in a minute, is how they all store. So the footprint, you get a ton, but the footprint's really small. Yep. So if you're like, I have no idea where I put 80 pieces of, of plastic waste, don't worry, it's it all tiny. fits and nests together. So again, take that off your list. It's not gonna take up a lot of space. This is another great example of 21 the, days. 21 days. This is, was celery? Wait, you know what drives celery. me crazy about celery? Is you get a recipe and you only need a little bit of celery for the recipe, yeah. and so you're not gonna use it up quickly at all, and, and you end up throwing those. it out. Yes. Right. Oh, right. yeah, because it turns into rubber. I mean, right. really, right? right? Look yeah. at this, it's, this is yoga celery, <laughs> you know? So instead of, look at that, no color, color. Right. When you see the full vibrant color of the vegetables you bought, that means the nutrients are still in there, the food is still, let Why? me ask you a quick question. Do you yeah. remember what you had for lunch 21 days ago? <laughs> right. No, really, you don't, right? You're like, I have no, I don't know. Well, imagine you'll have to worry about this for 21 days. Look at this. The grapes, yeah, that's a great and example. And remember that my green boxes begin to work the moment you put something into them. You don't have to wait for days and months and weeks to figure out if it's working. The well, moment you put it in is the moment that it starts taking care of the ethylene gas, which is the problem. It's a natural ripening gas, and once my boxes are taking care of that gas for you, we're slowing down the process. Sure. I'm not gonna turn those grapes back into these grapes, but I'm gonna slow down the life, the life process of fruits and vegetables, which has, in fact, it, they start rotting the moment they're harvested. That's right, what they're exactly. intended right. to do. Right. We call it ripening until, so that we can eat them, <laughs> and then it just keeps going on, and it becomes rot. Well, I And there's that no down. prepping. You don't no. have to prep anything Nothing. before you put them in the boxes. I never even wash vegetables before I put them in the boxes because I don't want to introduce more moisture. Moisture is part of fruits and vegetables. If you see some moisture inside the box, just wipe it with a paper towel or with one of my genie sponges. It doesn't affect the box, has nothing to do with the box. It's the actual moisture coming from the fruits and vegetables. I can roll around nine day 
uh, blackberries in my hand and not have gush on my hands. Look at the difference. I don't. I mean, I call this the Those gold Those have post. mold. If you can't see it because it's oh, not it's very disgusting. close, there's fuzzy mold on it. Fuzz. Them. Yeah. I call this the gold coast because <laughs> those three plates should all be gold plated for what the amount of money that's going to get thrown away sure. there. But I guarantee you all this food goes home with me and everything that's in a green box goes into my family the next day. Sure. Look at this nine day raspberries, nine day blueberries, 14 day grapes. We have flex pay. I'm, I'm squinting because I don't see that far, but I think $9.99. $10. Okay. $10. All right. That plate of peppers. You would have thrown away a flex pay. Isn't that crazy? It is absolutely fascinating to me that that's how expensive. This one is, it's like folding up in my hand. I'm trying to hold it <laughs> so you can see it. It's disgusting. That is the same age as that, 21 days. This simply lived in my green box. I'm going to cut it open for you so you, first of all, listen to this. Hear that? I'm up here, look. Mm. Thud. That thud means it's a fresh pepper. That pepper is 21 days. Look That's inside crazy. that pepper. It is as moist and juicy and all the seeds are intact. That okay. also tells you. And Deb, you know what else I think is really important is oh. a lot of us have intentions Gorgeous. of eating better. Oh, you know, you start out and you say, okay, I'm gonna go to the store and this week I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna change my lifestyle. Maybe you got the X spike and you're starting to exercise more. And you're like, okay, I'm changing my food eating, right? I'm gonna do it this time. We go to the store, we buy all the fresh fruits, right? We're buying all these fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. We're so excited about it. And then about a week in, you can't possibly eat all that fast enough. So what happens? It goes bad and you throw it out. And then what happens is we lose our excitement for this new juicing program we're gonna do. Or I was trying to eat more vegetables. Even Andrew was talking about eating sauteed spinach. Mm -hmm. And we lose our enthusiasm because we've just wasted so much money. This stops the craziness. Yes. This stops that circle of I can't eat right, all the excuses we use because you're not gonna have to throw your food out as fast as you used to. In fact, it will last substantially longer than your food currently does. All you have All to right. do, and it's the simplest thing, Debbie's not saying, hey, change your lifestyle, go out and I'm run gonna... 10 miles. I you don't literally <laughs> have to change the container yeah. to truly change how you eat. And I know you pre-prep a lot I so see. that you and your family can stay Absolutely. on a healthy eating pattern. I, always. I, I've got stuff cut up. I showed you. I even buy the mushrooms pre-prepped for me. Right. But it's, it's very important so that you actually know what you're going to, you buy what you want to put into your family, not into the garbage can. Why not get it into your family? It's a great point. How's That's that? a great point. Okay, this is the science. I'm going to do this real fast for you. Ethylene gas is the, the enemy of fruits and vegetables. It is not air. It is ethylene gas. Your fruits and vegetables out in the air won't even do anything different. It's the ethylene gas that's hanging around them because it's coming off of all the, all the fruits and vegetables. If you see a bag of salad, and we love the cut salad because it's very convenient, but if you see one of these bags, see that puff? That is not air. That is the ethylene gas trapped in that bag. I'm showing it to you because it's odorless, colorless, and tasteless, but this is the only way I can show it to you. If you buy salad, you take some out, or any product, and then you reseal the, product, the bag, you've actually sealed in the very thing that's causing the problem. Mm -hmm. I am in the packaging industry. I know what packaging is. It is only a transportation device. It is not meant to keep your food fresh longer. It is not meant to do anything but get it to the store and home to you. That's right. You used to be on your own. Now you're not because you have me. I didn't want to do this anymore, so I decided I was going to stop that process of walking to the fridge and throwing things out or walking into my pantry. And Suzanne works very hard, and I, I think she deserves a cookie. I do. These are gorgeous, <laughs> soft-baked chocolate chip cookies. They're so good. Okay. My favorite and part of the demo. And she knows <laughs> that I wouldn't give her anything less than a perfect cookie, and that cookie is absolutely perfect at 42 days. I can't surprise anybody here anymore. 42. You know, yeah. 42 days. And you and don't see me spitting it out I'm instantly. Really, I'm, I'm still she's, chewing. She's still chewing. Oh. So, <laughs> so 42 days, that's because independent laboratory testing said at 42 days, good baked cookie. goods and snacks stayed perfect in terms of texture, ta aroma, and okay. And these back here are a big snap. deal for me. If you get the cereals for the kids and oh, you gosh. know they don't ever put them away correctly, the next day they're gone stale. If you have all the chips and the crackers and all that kind of yep. stuff, you know how you've had to throw popcorn out because it's gone bad? Just change the container. It couldn't be easier. This is one of our biggest configurations and at a phenomenal introductory price. It's the first time ever it's added introductory price. We also have free shipping on this, which is great. Yes. 
Yes. And yes. try it for under $10. You're going to need a container just to store all the stuff you already have. And you probably have a bunch of mismatched lids and all that kind of crazy stuff. Yes. Just change those. Get rid of them. Use them for something else. Donate them. Recycle them. And change to Debbie Meyer Green Boxes and prove to yourself if they work or not. Hey, you still have great containers. I don't think you'll send them back. But when you see that they're going to extend the life of your food and then that's money back into your pocket, boy, that is an exciting moment. We're going to say hi to Paulette because she's ordered these boxes and wants to talk about them. Oh, wonderful. Hey, Paulette, you're on hey, with Debbie and Paulette. Suzanne. Welcome. Where Hello. are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> hi, Paulette. Hi, honey. <laughs> so you already have the green boxes. I do. This is my third order. Oh, wow. Wow. Why? oh Debbie Meyer, you're the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is wonderful. And when I cook and I bake, I give food to family members and neighbors in the green boxes, and they love them. Oh, you're, you're very and sweet they really, for sharing. Really work. Thank you so much. I love that you're sharing them with other people, too, because you're giving them the gift of saving money, and boy, is that a big thing. Mm -hmm. That's Huge. exactly right. You do save a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And your, your pantry and your refrigerator look so much more organized. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Isn't that lovely? And I'll tell you, Paulette, yeah. the rectangular set stacks easier. So you'll love it because you can fit more in your fridge and your pantry because they're all rectangles. Exactly. Love it. Well, thank you for oh, sharing your story you, with Paulette. us. So thank nice you, to Debbie. meet you. So nice to meet Hi, you. Paulette. Thank you. I'm going to run real fast for a few more of these, and I'm going to show you a couple other things. Here we go. Look at this. These, these are two romaine heads of lettuce. This was romaine three weeks ago. This is still romaine right now. And listen, that's still romaine. Oh, mm -hmm. oh I just got to keep going, that. girl. Keep okay, going. Okay. Here, baby carrots. <laughs> I, lettuce no everywhere. more sniffing. Baby carrots. Okay, that, that. Here, look at. Green beans. Green beans should not be capable of being tied in a knot. Your green beans should snap like that at 14 days. Whether you have pears at 14 days, I'm going to do this fast. Ah, I'm going to dare them to stay with me. 14 days on pears. Look at that. Simply in my green boxes. 14 days on corn. I got ready for tonight's dinner two weeks ago. Right in the box. But Brussels sprouts peppers. Look at this broccoli. This is the color broccoli should be. Not that. 21 days. Three weeks. And you know how how quickly do, the, do tortillas get uh, And they stale. always give you a pack of like yeah. 60. This is so <laughs> soft and beautiful. Our caller just said she gives away baked goods. There they are. Look in, at, a, in a gift. This would not happen in my house, but if you save donuts, great. On hey, and on and on. <laughs> it's, it's all your baked It's all produce. All your baked goods will, it will stay fresh longer. And this is the science of keeping your food fresh longer. Longer, this is real. And there you go. That sums it up. One of the biggest sets. We've all already sold almost a thousand more and 3,500 in just wow. like two airings. So yes. hang on the line for that and just you know, try it. You need containers anyway. You must yes. well change the ones you have and it's an awesome price. All right. Here's something else that Debbie created and it's really what started everything and it her, is her famous Debbie Meyer green bags. It's a 40 piece storage set. Debbie, really quickly, what do you recommend those for? These are, rec these are for specifically for produce. I love them as an add on to my green boxes because I can do bulk shopping. Big quantities. I can buy big <laughs> big quantities big of quantities. lettuce. And big uh, things potatoes, like bananas, watermelons, potatoes, right? Potatoes, half a watermelon <gasps> slice. Flowers, flower flowers. arrangements. That's a cool idea That's too. Right. All right, so I'll show you that. Then I had to show you this one and I asked for this specifically, guys. We sold out of Debbie's cake cutters because we all know there's weddings, weddings, weddings coming up and there's baby showers galore, all that kind of stuff. Her cake cutters are finally back. They've been sold out since January. <laughs> we have two flex pays for tonight only and you get two different types. You get the square and you or get the U and you get the V. They're not only beautiful, they really work brilliantly well, and they also serve nicely, too. Great. We have black, ivory, blue, and red. Again, first time after selling out back in January. I asked my producer to show you guys those because we're not going <laughs> to talk about them, and I knew they were back, and I knew you might want them. So, yes, they're back, and they really work. Now, wait till you see something else that really works from Debbie, and it's all about sponges, and you got to be kind of curious. How could you reinvent a sponge? But she did. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. 
knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex on everything all month long, including jewelry, beauty, and fashion. Plus no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. said I'm Suzanne Runyon and Debbie Meyer is one of the most brilliant women in the world because she finds a problem in her own life and she says I bet we all have the same problem and then she makes it good and then she makes it even better and she did that with her famous sponges and you're like okay Suze there's a million sponges out there there's a ton at the grocery store what makes her special well she'll explain that but I'll tell you what makes these really revolutionary now is she has added a new scrub and scour sponge and boy oh boy I can personally tell you this works very funny story Deb launched these the last visit she was on she hands me one of these she goes here I just want you to try it. I'm like, oh, it's a scouring sponge. Whoopie ding dong, right? The darn thing works brilliantly. And Debbie, I have to tell you, I used it on two of the toughest things in my home. And I actually wrote them down. One, I used it very gently, but I had marks on a wall. Very gently, gently. wetted it and gently got all the marks off. But the big one is I have an old fashioned porcelain sink. Uh -huh. And that porcelain grabs every grease and grime and every color in the world. And I said, I bet you this will work. And I started working on it and it came out beautiful. So if it can handle my really old porcelain <laughs> sink, it's got anything you have at home uh -huh. licked. And with this, you're getting the original sponges, which are fabulous. You get a set of 12 of those. And now we get a set of six of the brand new scrubbies. Together. Yay, yes. all of that at once. 18 pieces. Love it. All right, so explain the okay. magic. Okay, the, ma the magic. magic. The magic is natural. Again, natural. And it's science, real science in my sponges. What's different between this sponge, that disgusting thing you have next to your sink right now, and my sponge, is that my sponge will inhibit the growth of mold and bacteria in and on the sponge and the scrubby for the life of the sponge. My sponge will never get hard and it will never smell. <laughs> The thing you smell at your sink is not your sink, it's not your drain, it's your sponge because bacteria, when it multiplies, stinks. Get rid of that, you're only spreading around germs. This will inhibit molds and bacteria like E. coli, salmonella, black mold, all the disgusting things and things we, can't, we cannot pr pronounce. So in this set, you're getting 18, as Suzanne said, you're getting 12 of my originals, and then, and you're all, thank you. And you're getting six of my, it's still my genius sponge on the front, but it's just a different backing. The green backing is safe for nonstick. It's safe for your dishes, safe for your glassware. The thing silver, scour. That is heavy Amazing. duty. Uh, but also, it will never get hard. You can't hurt yourself. You can't get a splinter. And it, it, you, it gets so soft, you say to yourself, how is it ever going to work? I didn't think work? when I got it yeah. wet and started to use it, I thought, it is not going to work on this porcelain and sink. And it just it's worked a, like magic. And you just need regular dish soap. Don't use additional chemicals. You don't need them. And to clean them, you rinse it under clean uh, running water, put them down tomorrow, it's a brand new sponge. Isn't that crazy? But let's do some math, because I wanna show you this. When you buy 18 of my sponges, and I said every one of my sponges lasts the equivalent of 15 ordinary sponges, mm. this is what you don't have to buy. How do you save money with sponges? Okay, now you can, because <laughs> you don't have to buy this. This is 270 regular oh sponges gosh. that you don't have to buy when you have 18 of mine. It's as simple as that. That's a lot of money. I used to throw away a sponge every single week because I was afraid of what was growing in it, and I didn't want to put a disgusting sponge in my microwave where I cook. Right? True, good point, yeah. And I didn't want to bleach, and I didn't want to add more chemicals, but I do make messes in the kitchen. <laughs> so when I make a mess, all I do is this. Watch Now, you got to watch this, what this sponge does. It's going to work there right now. It's pulling the water directly into the sponge without me doing anything. If you can see, the water's moving. It is literally it, moving towards the sponge. It's running into the sponge. The sponge is going, come here. And <laughs> in, a, in a minute, it will actually separate in a separate puddle from the sponge because it, it, it there it is. There's a line between that sponge and the, right there. Isn't that crazy? All I do is throw my sponge on it and I let it do the work. I, yeah. no, I'm not lazy. A lot less elbow <laughs> grease with these sponges, but for sure. But I also love to put these sponges in the bathroom, because where do we have the most water? 
in the bathroom. So I keep it, one of these next to every sink. Everyone just puts down the sponge. They sop it up. They put it down. I know that it's not going to turn into a smelly mess right. because it's clean all the time. All you do is rinse it. So let's talk about when you do things with this sponge. You're spreading it to everything that you touch sure. with it, right? But when you, you now have my scour sponge, again, you have that Pot, that the whole front of it is the same Debbie Meyer Green uh, Debbie Meyer Genius sponge inhibiting the mold and bacteria. The back surface is just a different formulation. It also has all the attributes of the front. Mm -hmm. Again, you can rinse this absolutely clean under running water. So things like your roasting racks, your grill pans, your bakeware that has gunk that's been baked on forever, mm -hmm. you can get it off. And I, I hate to say this, and I'm embarrassed to say that these are our two pans that were in my house. That is the bottom, just so, and that is so burned on. I clean this side with the, with the scouring side of the sponge and dish detergent. Mm. Look at how gorgeous that is. Now this one is not as bad, for, I can't say not as bad, but it isn't good. This is what it looked like. Suzanne, just touch this. It feels absolutely yeah. well, you silky. Know, it, it does, it's so funny. This feels kind of grimy and yellow. Yeah. This is, it does, it feels, it almost feels it's like it's silky. brand new. Yeah. And here's how you know we brought these beautiful, beautiful uh, pans that we have here at HSN and you want to leave them out, but the whole bottom is all crusted and it looks bad and you're like, oh, yeah, how do I get it clean? Please remember the scouring one is not for nonstick. Listen yeah. to this dab on that one. Yes. Don't put, it's really scours, so do not use it on your nonstick, but underneath the pan, you can use it. So if your non-stick is looking a little grody underneath there, yep. definitely use it on that, but do not use it on the non-stick. Use this the regular sponge. Holds 40% more than an ordinary sponge as well. So it will <laughs> hold, it'll get, it'll hold moisture all the way to the top of that sponge. That's, That's wow. how good it, and they are also proudly made right here in America. I, we, I had a little tape that I wanted to show you, but we were so short on time. These are independent, laboratory tested and proven to inhibit the growth of molds and bacteria. Oh, there it is. That's what's on your sponge right now. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, they are actually multiplying. Mm -hmm. That's what makes a sponge stink. All of that is in and on your ordinary sponge. And that's what you're sponge. spreading around. You bet. Ooh. All you do is switch to one of my Debbie Meyer Genius sponges, and you can watch it go poof, poof. That means that my sponge will not support and will in fact inhibit the growth of molds and bacteria and the, the things we know the names of like and the things we can't pronounce. Right. Salmonella, E. coli, black mold, those scary things. And it'll do the Can't work for happen you inside this little guy. Yep. All right. And again, you're getting 12 of the regular. You're getting six of the brand new. The, we launched these, and get this, we launched these just a couple of weeks ago. Already in two weeks, have become a customer pick with the new design. Yep. Uh, three flex pay on those tonight only. So if you want to take advantage of flex and get this home for eight dollars and thirty-two cents, we've got it. Also, this is awesome, and I've never seen this before. And this interesting. Oh well. To go along with our cake cutter, you got to tote your cakes around with you. We have the cake and cup cake fresh saver plus so we've got a double system it's a price break of $14.95 normally it's almost $30 so it's about half off and it's on two flex pay so isn't that clever if you're the mom who has to haul the cupcakes to the kids classes if you want to use the veggie tray you can that's available at a special price break is that it oh my gosh we only have about 250 of those sets left you know unfortunately that picture didn't show that also that cupcake side turns over and becomes a flat surface for a cake Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so in that's that really, picture, it really wasn't that clever. There. All right. Yeah. So now we're going to go back in time a little bit and really to what it started it all. And I have an interesting stat on this because I'm a nerd and I love my job. Uh, <laughs> of the green bag. You ready for this? I'm just going to find it. We, uh, listen to this. Over 5.3 million Debbie Meyer green bags have been sold. Where? 5.3 million, that was a number that is very, very old. <laughs> okay, so where are we today? We are at over a billion <gasps> Debbie Meyer green bags have been sold and are in use now. Isn't that crazy? A billion with a B. A billion. Now, why are okay. the bags popular? Okay, my bags are popular for, well, they're specifically for produce. If okay. you want to do produce, this is the way to do it. It started because of bananas. In my house, everyone liked a different color banana and it was driving <laughs> me crazy. If it got one black spot on it, I was done for it, half the fail. <laughs> so all I did was, uh, in these bags, first of all, my bags are made with a natural ingredient also, it, and the bag is reusable, you can turn it inside out, it's either side, it doesn't matter what you do, you rinse them out, turn it inside out, whatever you want, just make sure the bag is dry. Bananas, nine days. 
Both of these are nine days. This just sat on my countertop like this. You don't have to seal it. In fact, please don't seal them. Don't put clips, twist ties, or any of that stuff on it. They can stand wide open because air is not the enemy of produce. It is actually the ethylene gas. In fact, um, they work against each other in things like fruit bowls. Don't mix your fruits in a fruit bowl or your vegetables in a, ba in a basket because the different levels of ethylene gas will work against each other. Wow. And you can't make ethylene gas move. So it's, it's always there and always doing its work. This is a set of 40 bags. All 40 bags are right here. You can drop this in your drawer. That's how easy it is. You're getting, I'll show it this way. This is the medium bag. That's about four pounds of onions. Here's the large bag. That's about five pounds of apples. Here's the extra large bag. And that's over 10 pounds of potatoes. And I can't believe I can do that this time of night. <laughs> but 10 pounds of potatoes. This is my pantry right here. And if I want to close them in any way, I just do this. Yeah, but just you don't, you really shouldn't But you don't them. have to, and you really, don't seal them. If you want to just fold over the top, fine. But you notice everything is standing up, even the round stuff. All my bags are gusseted. So <laughs> they will stand in your pantry. They will stand on a shelf. Come on over here, bulk shopping. I want to show you this because this is really important. Bulk shopping, instead of buying three heads of lettuce, go to the big store and buy all six or seven of them for the same price. You can now have a whole week's worth of salad in one bag. That's more than a week's worth. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, in our house, it's about a week. <laughs> That's okay, though, because it's 21 days. <laughs> three, throw that in your fridge, and I'm ready. I Don't be afraid to bulk shop, because now you can do that. I, with my carrots, what I did was I left the greens on these, so you could see the difference at 21 wow. days. That's crazy. And look at these carrots at 21 days, how oh gorgeous they gosh. are. Oh, my gosh. Make any bunny proud, wouldn't it? <laughs> Look at that carrot, it is absolutely glorious. So things like herbs, spices, they will not let you buy this much parsley. They make you buy the whole thing. You've got to buy this or you're going to end up with this. One last word, I think this is flowers. Fire. Flowers give off the same gas, ethylene gas. It will do the same, it's exactly the same thing as fruits and vegetables. At night, put on one of my bags. In the daytime, call it the sleeping bag. In the daytime, <laughs> take it off. Enjoy your flowers at night, put it on, and your flowers will last longer as well. Set of 40, and we have it on a special flex pay for tonight. Only two flex pays. I know it was quick, but yeah, try them, you'll love them. If you don't love them, you can send them back. Yeah, thanks. Good to see you as always. You too. All right, let me Thank give you a little, uh, little <laughs> tip of what's coming up. Just a tease. First time back, next item. It sold out in February. Basically, now you have a personal portable oven. Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? And we'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, how about our HSN card? It's great, because if you're shopping and you order something, you get $10 off. I really don't think that's the biggest excitement about our HSN card. I think it's all the other things you never know about that happens just because you have the card. If you'd like more details, you can check it out on hsn.com. Well, we love you. We love you so much. We're celebrating you all month. Well, we celebrate you all year long, but this month, it's especially important. There's no better love than customer love. Our customers make us head over heels happy. How do we love you? Let us count the ways. At HSN, our customers are a very big deal. So we filled the month with special savings, deals, exclusive offers for HSN cardholders, and even a few surprises. It's just our way of saying... Thank, thank you. you! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because the very best thing about us... is you. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. Thank you, Deb. Yes, I'm putting it in my pocket. <laughs> Kelly, I got, have you tried these yet? Okay, yeah, you get, okay, these are precious. <laughs> I'm you. only giving you one, by the way, because they are amazing. That was the green sponges with the new scrubbies. Okay, so I'm Suzanne, welcome back. Kelly's gonna join me in one second. I gotta tell you about this, and I have never seen it before until tonight. And I walked in, I said, what a cute little lunchbox. And she says, oh no, it's much, much more than that. Imagine having a portable oven. Wherever you go, you actually can cook your meal, you can keep it hot, you can actually be in the office and plug it in, go to a meeting and come back, and now it's a homemade meal that tastes great. That's the exciting thing about hot logic and we got great colors but it is a personal 
portable oven. How cool is this? Now we launched it back in February and it sold out like in two airings. It's finally back tonight. Please notice too, we have four flex pays and that's only for right now. What's flex? Well, you pay it off in four months. Right now it's $10 to get it at home. And then if you want to take advantage of that, you got to do it now before the night's over. What are our colors? We start in the front. We have the black, we have the purple, we have the lime green, which is really fun. We have the orange, we have the pink, and then we have the blue and the orange is the most limited. I have 200 left. All right, hand me that. Oh, thank you, because you can put, how clever, your Debbie Meyer green boxes you just got work inside here, don't they, Miss Kelly? Anything with a flat bottom. So a Debbie Meyer green box is perfect, perfect because it has the flat bottom. So you don't actually have to worry about what it's made of, whether it's glass, plastic, even like the frozen meals with the aluminum. I've even put a paper plate and I just covered it with aluminum foil. Anything with a flat bottom. So this is not just a traditional lunchbox. You'd pay about $25, $30 for a nice lunchbox. Guess what? That one doesn't plug in and cook your food. This one does. All right, this is what's so cool about it. These are the six cup glass dishes, but you could do plastic or like you For said, Debbie's. we'll put that one there in just a second. This is, instead of going fast food, now I have a homemade meal. It's steamy. There's it's steam steamy. coming off it. It gets to 165 degrees and it doesn't go over. So think of it like a slow cooker. It's not exactly a slow cooker. It's more sophisticated. But this is one of these. I always get them on BOGO. But rather than going to fast food at lunch, I'd prefer a healthier with vegetables and shrimp. And sure. So there's my homemade meal. And when you get to work or let's say you're taking this, we talked to a lot of flight attendants, truck drivers, um, taxi drivers are the ones that drive, you know, for the different companies that transport folks. And they don't want to eat out because it's expensive. Now you can do your own food. It's not just going to reheat. It will reheat. It's amazing at reheating, but it's going to cook it from raw as well. If you want to do raw Wait, chicken slow down breast. one second. Explain that again. It'll cook, cook it. from raw. It's so really going to cook. This was cooked from raw right here. This is a frittata no, or just an omelet. Come on. And this one we actually got from you guys. It was an um, idea idea, somebody was cooking it overnight. Now, it wouldn't take eight hours to cook. Let's say you were going to go to bed and sleep for eight hours. It would take maybe an hour or two, but because it only gets to 165 degrees, it will never overcook. So it does not matter that you will plug this in before you go to sleep, and by the time you wake up, Breakfast is ready. So if I go to work You're in a hotel it in, room, yep. if I go to work and just plug it in, yep. whenever I'm ready and have that little split second to eat lunch, then it's you're ready. ready to go. It's ready to go. Or breakfast. We talk to a lot of people that travel that obviously it's very expensive to eat out when you're traveling. Sure. Um, and therefore, they just go to the grocery store. They buy regular priced food at a grocery store rather than a fast food place. And they'll bring it back to their hotel room. This is literally a miniature oven. <laughs> Anywhere you go that has an electric outlet, whether it's on a job site, whether it's in an airplane, we talk to flight attendants that use this. Um, whether it's in your car, my husband just bought a truck, it has the regular electric outlet now, almost all cars do. Or you can buy the adapters that go right into any car. And all you can you use it in your car. Can you you can use it in your car. You imagine you've got the kids in the car, you all gotta go somewhere, you're literally taking your snack with them and it's cooking beside it's cooking you while you're driving. To them. That's pretty awesome. Healthy food. So think yeah. of it as a lifestyle change because when you're on the go, you're rushed, you're eating unhealthy, you're spending all this you're extra money. -throughs. You're going through drive throughs Flight attendants got sick and tired of eating expensive airport meals. Um, hang on, Kelly, real quick. The purple, I have less than 200 left. The orange, I'm sorry, Daryl, I missed what you said. I have 190 left. So the purple's almost gone. The orange is really, really limited. And this is one of those I so can buy in the freezer section, this is one of those section, you buy in right? the freezer section. Okay. You can buy any of those varieties. I mean, any of these, you know, companies, they all have the flat bottoms, right? right. So whether it's cardboard, Wait, paperboard, plastic. You guys are talking plastic. about if you're watching your weight, your yeah. calories, whatever, these things. Any of the little diet and ones. And this is frozen hard. And you can do it from frozen. Now, keep in mind, it gets to 165 degrees and never goes over 165 degrees. So, for example, um, I was telling you about my uh, cousin who's a kindergarten teacher she never had time to eat lunch until I gave her a hot logic she literally texted me and she said this has changed my life and I was like well that's awfully dramatic what do you mean and she said because I only used to get 18 minutes to eat and if I had a frozen meal and my girlfriend had a frozen meal each of those took four minutes in the microwave now we're down to 12 minutes to eat right, right? and so now she plugs it in when she gets to work and anytime she has that moment to eat she now can eat whether it's her leftovers or maybe she brought a made homemade lasagna. <laughs> and this can Did be 
fresh Cook or frozen, we cooked it in there. <laughs> so it gets to 165 yes. degrees and never goes over. So if you want to oh, wait, make, let me ask you. So yes. if I don't get to it Put right away, yes. Okay, here. Oh, they won't so burn. Here we go. You just got your Debbie Meyer green boxes, right? Put and your you lasagna got, in your Debbie Meyer your green box. Oh, it fits perfect. It fits too. perfectly. <gasps> That's awesome. Any meal, whether it's leftovers or fresh from fresh, will fit. And there's no dials or anything. It goes up to 165 degrees and stops. So but it's can't not burn. It. Right. it will not burn your food. You can't even try and burn in here. And That's so a lot so of people, wild. like if they're taking care of their elderly aunt or grandmother or whatever it is, who can't use a stove anymore, will prepare meals for the week. And then all they have to do is pop it inside Hot Logic and they'll never burn it. It's is not that like a, dip? a stove. Did you do a dip? So this is one of the recipes that comes included. <laughs> it's a chili cheese dip. Oh, that looks good. And think of it like even at a party as a warmer. You could leak, because it comes, because the actual yeah, conduction yeah. heater and I'll show you over here, comes out. So it can just be a warmer. So now you can enjoy your guests and enjoy your party without actually having to worry about your food getting cold. Okay, so what if we slap a little bit on it? You just wipe it clean. That's it. Yeah, because the plate comes That's out. So Everything is smart. wiped clean. Um, you can see it's double insulated. So it's a really high-end lunch tote as well. Uh, and then it has that conduction heater in the bottom. These two are both dips and they both, uh, both of the recipes <laughs> come included. But like wherever the spinach dip is, is where the party is, right? And by the way, guys, if you I don't know if you can see it, but there's literally steam rolling off oh, of this. Oh, yeah, 165 so it's degrees It's just not a hot. lukewarm kind of yucky there experience. There yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks, it, 165 guys. degrees is, is hot. So if you're getting ready to eat it, it is going to be very warm, but it's not microwave warm where it's scalding, scalding you mouth, and yeah. rubbery. This um, meatball recipe <laughs> comes included in the 10 recipes that you're getting with your Hot Logic. But there is an online community of Hot Logic that's crazy. People have thousands of recipes posted. Well, and just FYI, I noticed that's what you're saying. If you just want to use it as a yeah, warm plate, you can just take it out. You literally take it out and then that's on your buffet. Yeah. I mean, you could serve off that. You can serve right off of it. This one I like because this is what a lot of us own. These little sectioned off, you know, compartments. Mm, perfect. This is leftover, you know, garlic bread. I've heated my garlic bread, my spaghetti and my meatballs. So rather than going to fast food, I just saved myself $10. Oh, that's true. I mean, fast food for a single, I mean, $12 even depends on where you go. Um, I got to give a quick update though sorry Cal real quick four flex pays for right now and I believe these are gonna sell out so we've sold almost 800 you have four flex pays only for tonight that's a big deal and um, again we have on flex it's nine dollars and ninety five cents wonderful right so you're gonna save some money just because you can spread your payments out over four months also we're ten dollars off tonight it's a customer event price the purple's almost gone and the orange is almost gone then your other one's gonna be the lime green the blue we have the black and we have the pink but I if I were at home watching this and thought, oh my gosh, this is the answer, or I'll tell you, it makes a really clever gift to oh, anybody absolutely. you might know. absolutely. If you've got a school teacher who's always on the run, if you're at the office or you have a friend who friend works in a cubicle. Friend that's a flight attendant. You know, or anybody, you know, we're all, we all want to eat healthy, hot, delicious meals. Maybe some not so healthy, hot, delicious meals. Um, this is the way to be able to do that. And it literally is a mini portable oven. It really is. This is grandmother's pot roast oh, recipe. That's awesome. This is just an example of preparing meals for friends and family or somebody that's convalescent. Yeah. And they're time. getting, yeah, ahead of time. All they have to do is take any dish with a flat bottom. I can't think of anything that doesn't have right. a flat bottom. <laughs> and look at this. This is just a can of the prepared soup, obviously a flat bottom, and then a hot sandwich that we got, you know, at the gas station or wherever you want to pick up. That's you know, awesome. you can save money now, eat healthier. Okay. <laughs> hey, to do it. We have some frozen chicken. You can even go yes, from, frozen from frozen to done. And how soon can I do frozen to um, finish? It'll take about two hours from okay. frozen to finish. So, so you, you know big, you're walking into a meeting. You got a big long boring meeting yes. and by the time you get out you'll be so happy because you're food exactly all right That's thanks right. kelly all right thanks unfortunately we're gonna wrap it up no we even have a dessert down here i have no idea what that is there but... is dessert okay <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna keep moving on the next item we have is really exciting as well because you know i don't know if anybody who doesn't love pasta let's just start with that right we all love pasta the problem is it's really hard and complicated to make but now it's not and we have to thank phillips for that pasta tastes great but it's a pain to make not when you're using the phillips system now, this is important because we have six flex pay on what you're about to see for just this hour alone, which means 
We're down to about less than 20 minutes in the hour. So if you want to use Flex, again, you're spreading your payments out over six months, right? You got to use it right now because it's only for the hour. Here it is from Philips, the Easy Pasta Maker. You're also, we have a bonus. This is completely exclusive. You have more discs than ever before. There are actually eight. We have brand new discs, the most we've ever done. And you get the drying rack that's also included. Plus, you get a great cookbook to get you started. But we also have this one available, another 100 and some pages called Pasta pasta night, how you can have pasta, great pasta every night of the week. So that's available as well. All right, Chef Eric, hello, how are you? Hi. And also, hi, Miss Stephanie, how are hello, you? Hello, great. How cool is this? Oh, this is so much fun, and I know you've never done with me before, I have never so done I before. can't wait to show she you. She said you'll be able to make pasta. I go, no way. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, when you said good pasta is so hard to make, that's because you've never had the right tool. It's what we say about everything. With the correct machine, it couldn't be easier, and that is certainly the case with Phillips. This machine will do the mixing, the kneading, and the extruding and all I'm going to do is push a button Get so we're gonna make here. a double recipe we're gonna make a full pound of pasta this will all be done within 15 minutes and you're gonna start to see the first extrusion within two minutes so dry <laughs> no way. dry ingredients in in this okay. case it is flour wet ingredients I love the fact that I pour them through the lid because we have this special angle and slot so the water is being distributed in the way Phillips has determined it will be the most successful this is why people think pasta is hard to make. If you just dump it all in there, it turns into a gooey mess, right? But when you have the right machine and the right tool so that I choose my double batch going and then I hit go. There Seriously, goes the machine it. doing the work and that is all we are going to have to do. Now when you take a look through the top here, you can see that right now the mixing is beginning. <laughs> the machine will mix forward, it will mix backwards, it will do whatever it needs to do really? and then it will begin the kneading. But where it gets fancy is when it does the extruding because that's what makes a dough either crumbly and nice or gummy and gross. If you've had fresh pasta that had just kind of that have to chew it like Play-Doh kind of thing. That is because it was not kneaded and extruded correctly. Phillips has figured out the math equation. It's like 1,600 pounds of force to extrude your one pound Stop. of pasta. But what I like is that we're walking away. Yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> Look at that fresh pasta. Um, I have less than 300 available for the whole country. That's it. And we do expect it to sell out. By the way, notice the price savings. It's $100 off right now. We have free shipping, which is almost $18 in savings and six flex pays for this very moment. So if you want to use six flex it's only for the next 15 minutes gosh chef eric i don't know what that is but i need a fork oh yes he's, <laughs> he's flying things around right and left back there there's so zero. i want to show you that when We're you doing a pasta show and there's no forks <laughs> yep, right in front of me oh my gosh <laughs> when you first started talking we started mixing lemon pepper fettuccine okay okay think about that Thank we you. put in fresh lemon zest fresh olive oil Fresh ground pepper. How did we do all that? Because whatever you put in oh the my top gosh, that's good. comes out. So suddenly wow. you're a five-star chef because you can use fresh cracked pepper. You can use fresh grated lemon zest. You do not have to go to the Italian restaurant and spend $30 an entree for pasta. Wait when you can make it at home. I gotta tell you something. What? Okay, so my producer said, is it good? And I'm like, he's in my ear, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so good. He goes, I can't tell you last time I had fresh pasta. And he said, but I don't eat it anymore because obviously we think pasta is very high in carbs. So here we go, Daryl, this is gonna get you. You're gonna like this story. I, okay, I am doing the paleo style diet. That's the way I'm trying to eat right now. And I said to you, Stephanie, We've I talked said, about it. can I use almond flour? Because if you're doing paleo, we're allowed to have that. And what is your answer? My answer is any type of flour and dry and ingredient will make a pasta. Now Yay! all you're going to have to do is <laughs> first of all adjust your liquid yep. and then also use a binder because you do have to get it to hold together. Sure. So almond flour will require a binder but whether it's paleo, whether you're eating gluten-free, they make a gluten-free flour in pretty much any grocery Great. store but if you buy ready-made dried gluten-free pasta, ew, when you cook it, it's very very slimy. What you have with the Phillips pasta maker is the ability to take any single ingredient you you want and put it in as the dry ingredient. We add fresh herbs. We add all sorts of different things. But then when you add your liquid, okay, maybe instead of using water, let's use spinach juice. Let's use kale juice. Let's use carrot juice. Let's hide vegetables every way we can. Oh, what a cool idea. You are completely customizing every bit of pasta, which is what makes this so different. That's cool. And by the way, this is all coming together with less than 10 minutes for one pound of pasta. Let's take a walk if we can over to the what you get. Sure. Because this really is 
is a massive configuration, and I'm excited about everything Philips has added. And there's brand added. new discs that they've added to ours that nobody else has. Right? Yes, this is an HSN exclusive configuration. Obviously, you get the machine for the mixing, the kneading, the extruding. Everything's so easy. It accesses from the front to screw off the cover, to change the discs, to wipe it out nonstick on the inside. Cleaning is no that's big deal great. at all. It comes with the measuring cup for both dry and wet ingredients. The reason that's important, pasta does require precision. So rather than having it, you kind of, you know, fake it with yours, the instructions are very clearly. You fill it to here for a half a pound, you fill it to there for one pound. So it's, this is literally impossible to mess up. Here are the eight different shaping discs from spaghetti, fettuccine, penne, sheet noodles for lasagna and ravioli. Then oh, here come crazy. the new ones. Pacari, which are the very thick tubes. <laughs> macaroni, because who doesn't want their Please. own fresh macaroni and cheese? Rigatoni, which is a little bit thicker. And then the shells, I think, are the cutest thing oh I have gosh. ever seen. Okay, that's fabulous. To make fresh shells. Now, you see all the different colors. We made it with carrot juice. We made it with spinach juice. We made it with beet juice. We added spices. The drying rack comes with it. Because here's the thing. Once you make fresh pasta, once you get it out, make an afternoon of it. Make five pounds of it. Lay it flat so that it doesn't stick together or hang it on your drying rack. Which is included. <laughs> then you freeze it. And then you can have fresh pasta at oh, any moment. That's so, so cool. Because who doesn't love pasta? And like who doesn't like it fresh? fresh stuff. No, you know what? A lot of people don't even know what fresh pasta is. Unless you have an Italian grandmother who had tons of time to be able to cook it well, and make it. Most of us have no idea what fresh pasta tastes like. And fresh pasta, because I've been to Italy and they've made it fresh, is the most amazing thing in the world. <laughs> exactly. And up until now, do you see how easy this is? I mean, it is mixed. It is needed. Now That's it is extruding awesome. rigatoni. And it also comes comes with a cutting tool. So as the rigatoni is coming off, I can literally extrude it as we go. It's very fun to do. So then we get into the why oh, it's so fun to work in the it. kitchen. Yes, yeah. your kids can do this. The moving parts are all inside. This is There is no safety concern whatsoever to do this yourself. And you're knowing exactly what's in your food. If you look at any type of dried pasta, there is a list of chemicals and ingredients that you and I cannot pronounce because of the preservatives. This is preservative free and you can dry it and freeze it and have it whenever you want. But literally when it only takes 15 minutes to make a pound of pasta, I can do this on That's a Tuesday crazy. night. Yeah. I can do this on a Thursday night. And the quality of my food is so much better each and every time. I love mm -hmm. that Philips mm -hmm. has tweaked it and given us more shapes because we asked for more, given us a different kind of cutting tool to make it even easier to <laughs> swipe right down and get your rigatoni. <laughs> All right, I gotta call Suzanne out because she's no, eating no, no. out of the pot. <laughs> No, that's compliments to the chef, oh. though, although I guarantee you, we can give you a bowl. A no, <laughs> so this is the rigatoni bolognese. Again, bolognese could not be easier to what? make. And you, let this stop for one second. You go to the restaurant, the, Ita the authentic Italian one, because this is the experience you want to have, and you spend a fortune to have it. Exactly. You can make it yourself, and you control the ingredients. You know what you're putting in, so you can do it healthier if you want to. If you're like me, you're doing paleo thing, you can. This is awesome. Oh, please. And you know what? Do you know why these things <laughs> taste so good? There are no more than four or five ingredients in anything really? that Eric is giving you because you wow. don't need all the fancy ingredients. You don't need, what is the basis of Italian cooking? Simple and fresh. So we are using simple flours, simple liquids, oh. fresh ingredients like meat, tomatoes, and, and garlic, and, and parmesan. you can tell the difference. You can go to store, if you put store-bought spaghetti, and you did one of these with the spaghetti, and you ate them at the same time, you can totally tell the difference. Exactly. There's such an authenticity to the taste of what's coming out of this machine. Now, a little here, heads up for you. I have about 190 left. I have a lot of you on the phone. Many of you are going to .com, which is smart. But if you'd like to get it, we're down to our final quantity. We have six flex pays for right now. That that's this hour, which means if you have a major credit card, you're going to spread your payments out over half a year. You'll be making more pasta than you ever thought possible, quicker than ever thought possible, but you can only take advantage of that flex right now. And it's huge for free shipping because that saves you almost another $18. Yeah, because it's a good size machine. So yeah, you right. definitely, the free shipping is a huge bonus. Yes, I'm excited again. because, first of all, this is oh. the first time you've gotten to experience it and it is very, very fun. But also, we are giving you eight different discs. And you know what? If you're going to make an investment in a machine that does does something like this for you. You want options. So the fact that I can make long noodles for lasagna, I can cut them into smaller squares and make my own ravioli, stuff it with anything. Mm -hmm. I can make my macaroni for the kids. Because again, and I, Eric, go ahead and hand me that dish if you don't mind. I, mac and cheese, obviously, on the menu of most all of our houses with young children. Have you read the ingredients inside that blue box? 
I mean, have you scary, ever? Right? It's scary. I mean, it's we and you know, you know what? As moms and dads, we know it when we make it. Like, oh, this is bad. I'm cheating mm -hmm. and I feel horrible. But they love it, and I just want to feed them. They will love this because you know what? This is real food. This is flour and liquid. By the way, use carrot juice, and they'll never know that either. Toss it in some cheese, and suddenly you mm. have fresh, wonderful mac and cheese. My kids started saying to me, "Will you make it the slow way?" And that basically just translated to in the oven and all of that. But you know what? Oh, this isn't the slow time. way. This only takes 10 minutes and it tastes even mm. better than store-bought dried noodles baked in the oven. So the, the way of keeping the fresh food on the menu on a busy weekday, this does it. Mm. And I love that Keep you can't talking. stop eating. Oh, my God. <laughs> Keeps talking. All right, well, let's go make a new one. I'm going to put you to okay, work. I'm putting that one down. Okay, okay and I, I told down. you I was going to put you to work. Oh, my gosh. Because you said, I can't I'm make so pasta. Happy right now. This is too hard. Right. So, yes, you can. Your dry ingredients are in there. I'm going to have you add the liquid, okay? So, we. Now, what is this liquid? Because it's very green. That is spinach juice. Okay. And we want it to be very green because we're going to add some special and just flavor. Pour it in. Yeah, and do you see how it's automatically slanted? It goes into the holes and spreads itself out because if we put it all in one big clump, it would be harder for the machine to mix and knead effectively. And and okay. this part, what's happening right now, the mixing and the kneading, very important, which is why if you've tried this by hand or if you've tried it on a stand mixer with an attachment, probably didn't go so well because... First of all, it has to be mixed exactly right to not get that sticky and doughiness. But when it's extruded, that's the pressure put on the dough to form the shape. If it's overpressed, then it all turns into a gooey mess. If it's underpressed, it all falls apart when it's and cooked. And figure that out by hand. Nobody wants to figure well, that and out. And you know what? You really, you know, it's you who used to make fresh pasta in your house. My grandmother used to make fresh yeah. noodles for new chicken noodle soup. It, it's a production to do that. Oh, that and sounds we, you so know, good. We didn't come from an Italian family. We know we never did the whole pasta. I mean, we love pasta. But boy, I'll tell you what, to have to make it by hand, most of us would never even think about doing it. And yet to go out to a restaurant, and you gotta make sure it's authentic Italian, because I would bet you the vast majority of restaurants in your city, in your neighborhood, are probably using pre-made pasta. Probably. They're not making it fast, because you know what? It takes too long to hand make it. Exactly, and you know what, talking about the pre-made fresh pasta, when you go to the section of the grocery store, and those are pretty common in a lot of groceries now, certainly at markets, look at the prices of that. It's $10 for what, a half pound? Oh, of fresh pasta. So if you're trying to feed your family fresh pasta, if you truly love Italian food, you know that's what you'd want to do, you're going to spend 20, 25 bucks per meal when quite honestly, this is something you can do yourself. Look, look how you, much it's cranking out And here. we're not doing anything. <laughs> Remember, all we did was add a flour. This is a spiced so noodle. Herbs, so we added some here. herbs in the dry. Dry ingredients go in the what, machine. What did you put in this one? In the herbs? Parsley. Parsley. Just oh, parsley. parsley. Yep, no just kidding. parsley. Okay. So parsley in the sheet pasta. But now we have options. We made a lasagna, yeah. and I like the fact that he made it in a, a bread pan and a smaller lasagna, because sometimes you don't need a ton of lasagna. You get to cut your sheets the way you want them. But look at what else you can do. Uh -huh. He took the strips, the sheet noodles, cut them into ravioli. All your This is not difficult. You can stuff them with whatever cheese or meat or potato, sweet yeah. potato ravioli or butternut squash, whatever you like, and then you flute it around the edge with a fork. You don't have it's to be so a five-star chef to do this. But what you do have is have to have the dough come out correctly or none of this will work. Right. The Phillips machine. that's where everybody stops. That's where everybody stops. <laughs> well, I couldn't get the dough to work correctly, so I don't want to make pasta. That's because you didn't have a machine to do the job. This that's mixes, brilliant. it kneads, it extrudes, and honestly, it will make a it's sheet so noodle cool. that will stretch all the way across the front of the table, which Eric and I think is very, very fun. And it did so, this in how long? Less than 15 minutes. Okay, um, update on the book. This is a really great book. It's 128 pages full of pasta recipes for every single night. You also get a really nice book that comes comes with the machine itself. But if you want to boost it up to that next level, please ask about that. I think we're down to the final 200 here. So that's this is almost gone. This machine is almost gone as well. And I have no idea when it's going to be back once it sells out. But if you've ever loved pasta, if you're crazy about pasta, also, I love the fact this was really huge for me. You can make a healthier version yes. of pasta. You said you can use any kind of flour that you want. For me, it'd be almond flour or Gluten rice flour. Gluten-free is a huge one for people. Huge. I love adding the herbs. Lean over over here and take a sniff of this. We've got herbs and spinach. And oh. do you smell the difference? Oh my gosh, it you, smells this amazing. This is real food. You did this and there it comes. That's great. Look, Isn't I did that this. Fun? You 
made it. And here we can take your little cutter and cut it right off the front because these are coming out as penne. So as, oh, they, right, making penne. as they come out, we give them a little cut. We let them get a little long there. Please remember, too, we're the only place that gives you eight of the discs. So you get a lot of variety of pastas you can options. make with this. A lot of options. Yeah. And you get the drying rack. This is a totally exclusive configuration. Another really big deal, you got to look at what our HSN price is. This has been and will be, I promise you, on the air for $349.95. Right now is the only time in the next three, four minutes where you can get $100 off, free shipping that saves you about another $18, and six flex pay. That combination, that unique combo, ends in about five minutes. So you gotta really hurry if you wanna use the six flex. If you wait, you just won't have that option, but that's a great way to be able to try it. And I went to the Phillips website right before we went on the air, and it is $349. I mean, it that is website. the list price also, for we this machine. we were talking about if you have a other system that has you know a famous name, just buying the disc accessories to do all this with the price of our entire system. Right. If you have a right. stand mixer and you've bought the the extruder part, that's exactly what they tend that to cost crazy? is $250. Yeah. And all it does is extrude. Whereas we have been able to mix, knead, and extrude. And if you noticed how hard it was on us, okay, we didn't do much of anything. The machine is eating. doing everything. Right. Suzanne ate everything in sight. All I'm responsible for is eating. <laughs> <laughs> and all I've been doing is trimming it as it comes out because that's what happens. The first time I made this at home, I kind of turned my back as it was mixing and soon it was extruded shooting everywhere because it surprised me that in literally after the first three minutes the extrusion begins Did because really? that's how quick this goes on that's if you're crazy. going to have fresh pasta think about how easy that. it is to What's add fresh shrimp ingredients is? shrimp he's shrimp got there. a shrimp with corn there he is adding a oh, primavera spaghetti spring spaghetti, smoked paprika is that what it is spring oh. vegetables are everywhere make some fresh pasta if you're going to eat the fresh vegetables wouldn't you add the fresh pasta with it oh to please. keep the clean Please. food coming again <laughs> everything right. becomes fresh and easy stay on the line six flex phase ends here in a few thank you both very much for joining us coming up next is miss amy she's got some great stuff so stay with us i want more of that <laughs> that looks great well, April is Customer Appreciation Month here on HSN, and all month long, HSN Cares is giving away $1,000 every day to charities nominated by you, our customers. Today's charity was chosen by Christine Neidhart, who nominated J1OE. They took their name from the Native American word for independence. People who have special needs in New York,